I spend the majority of my day at the Maker's Fair. It's just another community gathering in downtown Silver Spring. The Maker's Fair is when little kids and their parents, or just kids in general, or parents know, just come to make stuff. Um, people from all over Montgomery County come to, come to this fair. And so That's this fun. is what happened throughout my day. What exactly do you do with, the, uh, with this program? What we do is we build robots every year. So each year, uh, on January 4th, or early January 4th, we get a solution for a new uh, for our team. And from there, we adapt the robot to create laws or like uh, shooters or catapults or whatever the uh, organization has to do. Um, what's your favorite part about building robots? My favorite part is when it's competition, because that is the best thing ever when you win. And there's so much spirit going around. So what exactly is this program? So it's it's the way you actually in the in the game there are two elements to it. There's an autonomous phase where for like thirty seconds from the beginning, you're able to just be drive with that hand drive your control and pick up blocks and drop them in baskets. And then there's a tally off phase where you have people using joysticks and so they do have like ways of controlling the robot and the autonomous all it was was that A is a lot more sensitive. You have a human and you grab it, you have to take in certain sense values and like figure out where you are and then tie drivers to that. But also, it's part of programming is like what's what's happening nowadays in the industry. There's all the drones you hear about and all the autonomous. So, looking at autonomous, that was question of taking input from the sensors like gyros and which tell you how far you are in sonic sensors, which tell you how far you are. And to drive around to grab a block and drop. How exactly, like, what parts do you use to build a robot? So, what we build is mostly out of our, like, off-the-shelf tender cars, which are those aluminum channel things that you can bolt together and now it's smooth. So, you can, you can use a lot of different parts nowadays to put it together. So, if you'll see there, it's actually a Tupperware as the scoop we're using. That is not what we use in competition, but it, the Tupperware is just less, less likely to break when you have to bring it over the side. Yeah, what we're using in competition was just an aluminum that we bent and scooped down the plexiglass. So, it's, 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 a, it's a mix of it's a lot. It's a mix of 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 Alright, thanks.
were the kids interacting with the people working at the booth staff? Um, they were asking a lot of questions and things, and like just really wanted to know like all about like what they were doing and like how they could do it. And, yeah. What exact like what kind of booths did you see? Um, I saw a couple of robotic booths and how like some booths had robots that were like putting little cubes in buckets, and um, there were some booths that had like claw machines and things like that, and different little things that you wouldn't expect to be seeing. Overall, would you come here again? Uh, totally. So, build on. Can you build on that? Um, like, why would you come here again? Because, like, there's so many booths that you probably won't be able to get to one in one day, so you definitely are going to be looking forward to the next one and hoping you can just kind of get to see the other ones. Is it engaging? It definitely is. How, how the community just...